Sahil, the test for messaging is whether it moves votes, right? Do we have any sense of how it's working on either side? That's right, Chris. Well, we know that this Freedom Caucus press conference, this opposition is a headache for Speaker McCarthy, but whether it becomes a vote problem for him at the end of the day remains to be seen. We counted about a dozen members of the Republican conference at that press conference, some of the most hard right members who uh, leadership was never counting on in a bipartisan deal with Democrats. If the number remains that low uh, in terms of Republican defections on the floor, it would be a dream outcome for Kevin McCarthy because, of course, Democrats can vote on this and they, have, uh, they are expected to provide a substantial number of votes at the end of the day to push this over the line. Now, the Freedom Caucus members are singing a familiar tune here. They're saying the cuts in this bill are insufficient, that the bill is gimmicky and swampy, that Republicans gave up too much. As you note, it's a very different message coming from Speaker McCarthy, his leadership team, and their allies. They say this is historic and that it cuts spending year over year, which is, uh, you know, they're, they're correct about that. It's rare in Washington for that to happen. They have some conservative policy concessions to brag about on tougher work requirements, permitting reform, restarting student loan payments after that pause, and rescinding some IRS funding. All this, they say, they did uh, while controlling one half of one branch of government. So the vibes uh, that I'm getting that we're picking up on Capitol Hill is that the center of the Republican conference is holding. Most members are on board. Uh, he will lose the House Freedom Caucus, uh, most of them, many of them at least. The question is, do those far-right members take the L and accept it and move on, or do they try to do something drastic like come after Speaker McCarthy's job? This is the same group of people who uh, forced him into 15 ballots embarrassingly throughout an entire week on the floor just to become Speaker of the House. That's the big question with them.